Hi guys, Sophie. Um, in this video, I am going to be talking about uh, the Les Miserables open auditions for the UK tour. I went to one in Cardiff back on the 26th of June, so it's been nearly a month since. Um, so basically, I spent around possibly £400, £300, £400 to, to audition. Like, my hotel costs like 200 £95 or something stupid like that and then train tickets cost me like £60 odd pound. Um, and then food on top of that but that's not the important part so um, I got the Cardiff like trains were alright and like the transfer buses were alright um, I've never travelled to Cardiff before so particularly with my autism I'm not used to doing stuff like that so it was a big challenge for me um, especially going on my own which was kind of scary um, so on the day I woke up at, um, I think it was like 7am I think I woke up um, I just got up, had a shower, got dressed, did my makeup, um, did my hair and um, just got myself ready, went over my song um, and then at 9 o'clock I got a taxi to um, the Wales Millennium Centre where the auditions were being held. I didn't originally know where I was going for it there, so I was just kind of looking around hoping someone would take pity on me and help me. Um, luckily a group of lovely people who went, who were from Bristol um, took me in on their wing and like, let me hang out with them for the day. Um, we queued from 9 till about, because registration opened at 10 or 11, so we waited a good two hours in line and then they gave us little like raffle ticket numbers, my number was 535 and the line was long, there was like over a thousand people there and um, then we all walked towards the centre and then we had to do a queue which went but wavered or whatever you want to call it and we were waiting for about eight hours started queuing at nine and then I got back to my hotel at six in the evening so if you do go to open auditions, prepare to wait and make sure you bring snacks and water because it was so hot out um, but it was also freezing in the cold um, so yeah, then we waited and they were like, okay we're gonna, it got to about 5 o'clock and they were like, right, okay, we're gonna cut the queue off at a certain number, they're gonna take the next 200 people to which my anxiety kicked in and luckily it was like 584 that the number cut off at and they said okay the people who can be seen today they're going to bring back and they're going to take their CVs and they're going to call them back to audition so everyone will be seen. Um, there was points when I was queuing that I thought is it really worth waiting this long but I would have kicked myself if I had left. Um, so then we were taken to a different area where we were waiting. Um, missing you in, in batches of numbers so about five, six people in a go, in a group, and um, you have to fill out a form with contact details, uh, what song you're singing, your headshot and your resume, and um, then you just sit, you wait and to go in, and you all go in, you sit on a group of chairs, they say one person over there to go and start, and then the second person goes and waits while that one auditions. Um, I sung Pulled from the Adams Family, which originally was 32 bars at the start of the day, that went down to 16 bars, and then there was a rumour that it went down to 8 bars, which was like barely 30 seconds of a song. Um, so luckily we found out it was 16 bars, so I did the ending of Pulled, and I think it went really well. I had to, t the, um, you hand your, like, paper, your resume and everything to the casting directors who were sat at a table, there was two of them and then you got to the pianist and you would give them your sheet music, you explain the tempo that you want it in, the speed and everything like that um, I had to sing a little bit to her because she, she didn't know the song so I had to sing it to get the right tempo and everything like that and the right speed and then uh, she counted me in and then I sung, I did my song um, then you just thank them and you go basically so then I got back to my hotel about 6 o'clock and there's also an Ed Sheeran concert on that night I could have gone to see Ed Sheeran I didn't think about that 
I like Ed Sheeran. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, the really cool auditions were supposed to be on the 26th, 27th, 29th of June. Um, the card of the they also had Liverpool auditions on the 25th um, as well. But what was kind of annoying is that they only thought 200 people would turn up at the Cardiff auditions. Over a thousand did. So that was pretty poor planning on their part. And then apparently, from what I've seen on Twitter, um, people who went to Liverpool auditions, they were telling people, they've been like, yeah, you're not going to be seen. Because it was spanning down a couple of streets the queue was. I think over 2,000 people turned up there. Um, as of today's date, which is the 18th of July, um, I have not heard anything yet, but nothing is being released online about the cast. So I'm gonna hoping they're working their way through the cast, the audition lists. Um, so I'm gonna give it till the end of the month or when the cast list comes out online to then decide that to completely know that I've not got it. Um, because it's open for ensemble and for leads, it's my dream to be Eponine. But I'm really proud that I gave this a go and um, if you would, if you if find an open audition for a role or a show that you love, go for it. Just be prepared to wait and to possibly just know that there'll be a long queue and you're just got to wait. The waiting's boring but you just gotta get through it and then you get your chance to shine. If I hear anything, I'll let you guys know, but at the moment it's, I think it's highly unlikely that I've got a part in the show, which is really sad, but I'm glad I went for the experience. So I hope this got, this kind of helped you guys, or just let you guys know about what happened. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.